The name is called King Street, but hardly any royalties resides here. The broken, the abused, and the homeless are scattered near the island's judicial buildings. However, hope has found its way to these disenfranchised people through 19-year-old nursing student Hanifa Hartley. Hanifa is the founder of the Hartley Movement, an initiative launched by her to help the homeless. My name is Anifa Hartley and I'm the founder of the Hartley Movement. I first started in 2016 and the whole thing came about when I was about to leave high school, that's in 2015, but I didn't start like going on the road or anything and the name didn't come about until 2016. Being on the road like every day and seeing these people, it just melt my heart because I'm saying I could have been in their position and I said why not help them if I could assist them in any way. And then when I'm coming on the road and all of these things and talking to them, they felt comfortable around me and I also felt comfortable around them. And I said, I'll always continue doing this. I'll never stop until like people see that they can also do it. Being around one of the street person, which is Carlos, he said, I remind him of his daughter. And that melt my heart, you know, that melt my heart because I'm saying my dad isn't really around me. And when Carlos said that, it kind of touched me. And I'm saying like, Look at this man out here. He don't have anybody be, um, to be around him. He don't know what love feel like or whatever. So I'm saying I'm gonna continue doing this to just help them. Even if it's to come out here like every other month, I'm gonna do that just to assist these people. My mom would uh, provide like money to buy the things. My dad will put, if I do ask him, he will give me half of it. But my mom is mostly the person who assists me. My mom is a big support in my life. And I wanted to say thank you, mommy, for always, for always being there for me. And like, she's always the one who will say, Anifa, yes, you can do it. Never give up on all of these things. For Serene Lewis, Hanifa's mom, she has played an integral part in the Hartley movement from its inception. My first experience with my daughter doing this Hartley movement, she had a dream. I was sleeping and this little girl woke me up at 2 in the morning, saying, Mommy, I'm feeding some homeless people. And I'm saying, where, where them is? She said, no, Mommy, I was dreaming that I was feeding them. I said, all right, calm down. Let's think about it and let God lead you to do it. And every day I come home from work, she said, Mommy, I want to feed them. She wouldn't want to eat the food. Because she said, Mommy, them out there and they need help. And I said, all right, Anifa, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm so proud of her because at the age of 18, I didn't expect a young girl to come up that she's going to feed some homeless people. We prayed about it. And I said, Anifa, let the Lord lead you. When Anifa first told me about what she was going to do, I didn't take her serious at first because knowing Anifa, Anifa at girl. The morning of the movement, she called me and said, Andres, when you're coming back, she said, Anifa, I so come. If I did two weeks, I could do this, I could do it and done because we're done prepare, buy shirt and all of that. We can't make everything go to waste. She was like, okay, and we started sharing. While we were sharing, remember it was only two of us in a her brother came and he gave a helping hand and he came on the road with us. A homeless man was at the stoplight and I was like, Pinky, there's one and we took out the food and the driver even cooperated because the light was on green and he stayed at the stoplight while we gave the homeless man the food and the juice. We came downtown and we get afraid because them crowd, you know, them, them happy, but they, were, they came down at us and all of that. And we get them in order and we gave them the food and the juice and they were really grateful. I seen them hug we up, them kiss we, them, you know, them did really happy and we just do what we have to do. May I tell you, some did hot, some did well hot. But we just bust two sweat and go through. There is a well-known song, If I can help somebody as I pass along, 
If I can share somebody with a word or a song, if I can show somebody he's traveling wrong, then my living shall not be in vain. For Hanifa Hartley, her movement has made an impact on those who are less fortunate. She continues to inspire those around her and encourage others to have a positive life. My advice to these young people out there is that they should just focus on the positive things and not negative things because in this society today, we're so into the things we see on social media and not uh, things uh, which would benefit them in life. And we should not focus on material things because in the quint of our eye, it's all gone. So we should focus more on the positive things and trust God and have faith in everything we do. And don't be a, a follower, always be a leader. We are members of the Hartley Movement and we are empowered women.